In this video, I'm gonna be building a ground effect experimental airplane. Stay tuned to see how I do it and if it flies. A chronoplons. This is a type of ground effect vehicle. The ground effect is how a wing acts when near a surface. When the wing is near the ground, it creates more lift due to the added high pressure of the surface pushing back on the wing. Specifically designed craft can use this to allow to fly them extremely fast, efficiently, and very stealthy low above a surface, such as water. I was inspired by RC test flight and Peter Streeple's ground effect vehicles and wanted to try to make my own. Mine will be made completely out of DIY materials and feature no stabilization or any kind of flight computer, which will make this extremely challenging. If you're interested in seeing more ground effect stuff, I'll link their channels in the description. My craft is based on the legendary Caspian Sea Monster. Designed by the Soviet Union, it was the heaviest flying machine in the world at the time. First flown in 1966, it crashed after accidentally leaving ground effect in 1980 as a result of pilot error. The craft I am designing is very simple, consisting of a regular fuselage and a tail section with a rudder and elevons. The wing has no control surfaces, as the horizontal stabilizer will control the roll and the ele elevation. The wingtips have skirts to help trap the high pressure air underneath. This combined with a tilt motor system should allow the craft to fly in ground effect. The motor's thrust being blown under the wing will further increase the high pressure pocket even when at lower air speeds making the craft easier to fly. Now that it's fully built, let's do some testing in my front yard. As you can see from that testing, the plane wants to fly super far pretty quickly, so I'm gonna need a longer strip. All right, so I'm walking to the, uh, the test site for the ground effect vehicle. Hopefully it doesn't go over there because I might uh, never see it again. But actually, believe it or not, this is, the, this is right next to where I tested my rocket launcher. Right over there, over that lake. So this seems to be a great place to test experimental things. So hopefully this goes well. I'm gonna set up the ground effect plane, set up the, the cameras and uh, get to it. That's not great, but uh, everything else seems to be pretty okay. Just a pretty gnarly little nose in. Part of the reason the chrono plane, chrono plan failed in real life is because it sucked at turning and this one's no different. So every time I fly this, I've got to run all the way down this road and go pick it back up. <sighs> the things I do for a video.
Well, everybody, that's going to be it for this video on the Acrano Pond. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see a part two, let me know. Now, my Acrano Pond did take some damage from all this flying, but nothing a little tape and hot glue can't fix. Uh, all of my system worked out really well. Once I got it trimmed in, it started flying very, very well. And it was very easy to keep in the ground effect. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. If you want to see a part two, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video.